I'm so excited. We're gonna sign my favorite side. We really got the whole team on this one. Thank gosh for Todd being here because we're gonna bang this side out. But before we jump ahead of ourselves, I'm Tyler, this is Todd, and for the last few years, we've been building an off-grid home in the middle of the woods, providing our own food, water, and even our own electricity. You didn't think we were roughing it, did you? I feel cheap. <laughs> We've learned that living off-grid doesn't have to be the stereotypical cabin in the woods without running water. It can be whatever we want it to be. Good morning. We are having a very low-key start to the day and finally getting some things organized, which feels really good. Yeah, there's still just a lot of little loose ends everywhere to really finish the space. Like for instance, this is our table saw and the stand has been sitting in the box for two years. <laughs> in that time, I had lost the bolts that came with it, so I had to find bolts, but I think it worked until we flip it over and it falls off. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get you guys set up and we're gonna get working. It's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> get ready for it. I don't need any attitude coming from you. No, I got my iced coffee. And plus, <laughs> the fact that everything's organized, yeah. how much easier does this make it? Oh, it's so nice. There are 240 pieces in here. I just need four. First things first. I'm the realist. You're getting a hug. Why? Because you seem a little... Like fuddy duddy. <laughs> More like a cruddy crank. It's gonna be like so much easier. Yeah. Well, it's gotten so bad that like, I don't even like carrying a table over when I use it. I just put it on the floor. I know. Do I do it the wrong way? <sighs> Oopsie doopsie. Oh, oh that's my. okay. It's not a big deal. We'll just... You know what? It's a start. It's at least higher. We can use it. Like I can still get in here. You know what? I think it's pretty good for two gay guys in the woods. We're breaking down barriers one stereotype at a time. I don't think we are breaking down stereotypes. <laughs> no. If anything, we're reinforcing them. She said, I'm serving working carpenter. But then it stows away. Oh, not my shoe. I really like those shoes. I love too. these shoes. That's okay. I got super glue. Add it to the list. We'll get this tuned up in no time. One minute Ooh. epoxy, Jim. One minute epoxy. That's what you get for trying to do a high five, I guess. I guess so. But don't worry. These gays will get your shoes all fixed up and the table put together. It took us two years to put the table saw together, but the shoe broke and everything stops. <laughs> Gotta go quick, you only got a minute. I know. We only got a minute! You got one minute to put it in. Tell you what, kids. Find a man who fixes your flip flop. Todd is back in business, folks. <laughs> I would let that harden up. Yeah. I think we're ready to tackle the snowblower. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put your shoe out in the sun to dry. Yeah. I'm worried if I wear it too soon, my foot's gonna get stuck. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this looks... This? That's just that looks like it goes in here. That'll go in there. <laughs> Charlie! Hi! Are you on I know. I know. <laughs> Yo, are you guys preparing for winter? Dude, what the heck? This is so nice in here. When did you guys do this? Uh, a couple weeks ago. A couple months this ago. This too? They're doing so well. Eh? Not the potatoes though. It's They're gone. Oh so my god. Okay, there's here. Funny thing is, what the, the fact heck? That you can just pull like pull it around. Cause yeah, our, this is beautiful. Hey, thank you. Look how nice this Where is. Where did you get this? Hey. Hey. How's it going? I'm so good. How are you guys? Good. This what are we fixing? Beautiful. They're preparing for winter. They're canning <laughs> video coming next. Look at this. Very, very <laughs> That's right. this. That's like, we're just doing like this. This is insane. Do you want to see the play? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Tour. We should get a snowblower this year, eh? Have you used it? No. It's not a plastic coat. It's that outside all winter. One. 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 one, big one. Wow. Uh, I think they don't think true. This is beautiful. So this is going to be your greenhouse? So wear this big. Like, Are you burning on? I think so, maybe. Yeah. Can I come over? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so that'd, that'd be great for us. That'd be great. Squirrel. Squirrel. Oh, squirrel. Are you mm -hmm. lonely, little squirrel? Was you lonely, squirrel? Hi. I'm lonely, but don't touch me. Oh. Hi. Hey. She's so sucky, hey? She is. Hey, squirrel. Hmm. She gets tired and then she gets really silky. 
almost like she wants us to carry her back down to the dome. I wish you'd carry me back down to the dome. <laughs> I know. It's back to work now. Yeah. So it was great they stopped in. We just got back from the grand tour, but it's back to work. <laughs> <laughs> We're honestly kind of debating if we should just like pack up and go hang out with them. Yeah. I feel like that would be really fun. I know. Why don't we like finish what we set out to do today and then we'll decide from there. Okay. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Are we finishing the snowblower? Oh yeah, we got to do that. I feel like there's only a few little things left on it. Wow. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be dicey. Oh, you can push it. We should build a ramp. We should build a ramp. Like a gravel ramp. We could make a wood ramp for getting things in and out. Another day. Another day. All right. So, we are eventually going to have electric heat from our solar in the workshop. But for right now, we're using propane, so we just want to put a wall up so we don't see it in the yard. So we're going to use ground spikes, build a little wall, but we got to decide if we want one tank or two, because that's Ooh, how often sure. they come. Yeah, well, <laughs> the situation is the greenhouse is going to need a lot of electricity to run properly. We are going to have the solar, but that propane tank will also act as a back backup to the batteries. So we just don't know if that's enough. I think it's enough. What about in the winter? I don't know, just get used to being colder. The plants can't get used to it. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like if there's not enough jackets. Sun. I'm gonna learn to sew and I'm gonna make a bunch of little leaf jackets, like jackets that fit on their leaves. And be like, oh, Jessica, that's the tomato plant. You grew an extra branch. Then I gotta like cut and sew in a new Good job, hon. Oh! Here, let's straighten that one up. That seems pretty straight to me. I have a level here. These adjustable ground spikes are so much better than the non-adjustable ones. We would have had to make sure when we hammered that in that it was perfectly level all the way around. These ones, you just loosen them and can adjust them forward, backwards. It's pretty cool. It's way better. We did the other style when we did the shower and there was one that when we got it in, it was crooked. We had to abandon it. Plane. Coming to rescue us finally. They saw the smoke. <laughs> Imagine, Tyler. Like, I don't want to hit oil down there. I, I mean, I would take gold. Fracking. <laughs> so from the bottom to the top. You're, right Measure? Now, you're in the way. Oh. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm so eager to help that I get in my own way. And your way. There's always a point in a project where you start to see the end of the line. <laughs> it's an exciting part. I wonder how not level they are. <laughs> so where do I gotta go? Uh, oh my god. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, you caught at that mark. See it there? <laughs> when you tightened that, did you um check the side to side? This isn't like this is loose. Like it's not even close. Okay, you don't need to get all Debbie Downer. I'm not Debbie Downer. <laughs> I tried so hard just then. So this is a really great example of why our to-do list always takes so long. You would think that putting those two ground spikes would be a simple thing. It took a few hours. Yep. But well, we had some laughs and some memories that no one can take from us, so. And it's all level and looks really good. So now we're able to put the boards on, but we're gonna frame them in just so it's a little higher end looking. Yep. I think it's worth it, the extra step. Okay. It's good. Yeah. Time for the board. Yeah. How many um, do we need to make? Don't know. Ooh. Grab a level and get to leveling. So what do we want to do for spacing? Like I don't want it solid. So we're going to probably like this one. Okay. 
What a day, you guys. <laughs> when Crystal and Jazz and Max were here, I was like, Todd, let's just go. Let's give up. Like, we've done enough, but now... Yeah, now we can go and enjoy our time with them without yeah. thinking about a half-finished project yeah. back here. There is something to be said about, like, the mental sort of, like, weight of the, the pressure that a project has. and It's huge. It's huge. But speaking of that, I've been having, like, lately this sort of thing that I've been dealing with where I fall asleep perfectly fine, but... In the middle of the night, I wake up and I'm like tossing and turning in bed and like it's taking me a really long time to fall asleep. And friends of ours recently recommended Beam, which is a sponsor of today's video, but is a product that I am absolutely obsessed with. They have this dream powder that comes in six different flavors. They are to die for, but the chocolate peanut butter, oh my God, it tastes exactly like peanut butter cups. It's a Beam dream. It is. A freaking beam dream. It's so good and it's so easy. It's just one to two scoops in hot water and then you just drink it before bed and our sleeps have never ever been better. This product is filled with so many natural ingredients from functional mushrooms to what actually helps me stay asleep, melatonin. Now I actually have a full rested sleep all the way through. Beam is majorly hooking you up and giving you 35% off your first order plus 20% off every order thereafter when you use the code Tyler and Todd at checkout. What do you think? T time to catch some Z's? Kettle's ready, I'm ready, <laughs> and the bed is ready. See you in the morning. Even though the weather wasn't exactly cooperating and we were just gonna end up spending the day inside, we decided to head over to Crystal and Jazz's anyway. It's been way too long since we've all had enough time to meet up. It's been such a busy build season for us all. Not that this duo needs any introduction, but this is Jazz and Crystal. You may know them as the Van Wives, but we know them as two of our closest friends in the whole wide world. <laughs> They've been spending the last few years breathing new life into this cabin that was all but forgotten about and have transformed it into a literal paradise. <gasps> oh, wow. This rainy day was actually such a gift. It's all in our nature to be busy and to be moving forward with all the projects we have going on. But this day was to reconnect over good drinks, even better food, and it was exactly what the soul needed. Go for a walk. Good old socks and sandals in the Canadian fall weather. No, Todd and I are friggin' pioneers. You're all <laughs> musketeers. The three musketeers. For the best times that I've had, I've had with you. That's like so pretty. Yes, this is awesome. Do you ever step on the car? I was just thinking. It about feels so nice. nice. It's feeling. Wow, Eddie. Oh, wow. good boy, buddy. Good boy, Eddie. Whoa, how do you do that? First try, that's like 10 skips. <laughs> look at the friend we just found, everyone. Come look at this. Look at its little fins. I could watch them all day. It's so entertaining. <laughs> what you <doing? laughs> Probably hook up that to this. Oh, really? 100%. You just plumb it, man. Probably super easy. Want some popcorn? Yeah, I haven't had it. Kind of popcorn. Sweet oh, and just salty? Oh, I like Simply salty. All I want to do the siding. <laughs> this side. <laughs> I, I wanted to do this side before we did that side. You guys need to do this, this side before this side. I'm so excited. We're going to slide my favorite side. She's the only one sharing that energy today. We are going to try and side the cabin. So, before we got here, they were working on the front. They have that done, so the plan is to do 
this wall yeah. here. Everyone has seen how time consuming this job is as it has to be absolutely perfect, especially when you have perfectionists working with you. And let me tell you, I now have three on the job site. Thank gosh for Todd being here because we're gonna bang this side out. What? I said we'll rush through it. Yes, we'll get it done. However, it's a job you can't rush. I've learned. I had heard rumors that you guys like to get cheap labor from the south. So. <laughs> well, I guess now would probably be a good time to address the mullet in the room. We've been online friends with Max for years, from traveling the world in his van to his latest project of rehabbing this beautiful cabin located in Australia. Max is no stranger to an adventure. We're dreaming of the day when we can make the trip down under to spend some time in his neck of the woods. So like with any project, then comes math. Let's get it. Math, baby, math. Can you help pull his injury crash? Finally. We got the right measurement. <laughs> whoop, whoop. How long was that? Distraction. We love our dogs. The best kind. She's so sweet, huh? I know. The real easy side, we'll go for two hours. Been two hours for one place. <laughs> we really got the whole team on this one. <laughs> We're still working on getting the bottom pieces in and then we'll be working our way up, no problem, super fast. These first few pieces are always a little bit more tricky. that level? Mm -hmm. That's the big question. Where's my little level? Oh, right there. Yeah. This, the gap's too big here. So can I see where that goes on? Oh yeah, I guess it's far because like this isn't necessarily level. No, and you can't even touch it to the deck. The yeah. So it's so annoying. Here, I got a second screw oh to lock it in. What is going on? <laughs> I don't understand. Do you think it's going to The first screw! Woohoo! Oh, I got more in my pocket. Marco. Yeah, Jazz, if you want to put the other end yeah, one in. I think the problem is like where it's milled wood, it is not perfectly straight. So when you use the bandsaw to try and make it um, sh straight, it's just not possible. And then nothing straight like the deck. The cabin. The only thing that's straight is probably the window. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're new. Not 30 years old. I did the same measurement but we're gonna be out too far on this deck for it. So it is yeah. going. Like the deck is, is up a bit? Yeah, that's probably why it's like, that's not a big deal though. No. You just account for it along the way. We can make it work with a positive attitude. Huh? I thought this was gonna be the easiest side. He would smash at this wall in literally two seconds, by the way. <laughs> My bear. Your mommy says you're left. What the hell do we do? So. Are you sleepy boy? Oh, hey. well, what we should do is... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey. Does that make sense? At least all the dogs are having a good day. Hey. Hey, Bella. Or we can run... Alright. I'm gonna help and try and brainstorm on what our plan's gonna be for this. Where? What about you guys are slurp saw? And rip part of this. You can just type it in more. It's like it's all level. Uh, before you put that one in, I'll just make sure this is level because it's. Yeah. Yeah. So is that sitting flat? Am I or is that a gap? Huge gap. Yeah. Oh I sit down. Working with friends is fun. Isn't this fun? Oh no, this one's down there. That one's right. Okay, many hours later, as you can see, the sun is literally setting. Wow, we got one piece, y'all. <laughs> literally one piece. This... <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to hire us. Maybe <laughs> don't. Really cheap labor. However, it might take us like a year to get. <laughs> yeah, what you pay for? <laughs> to be honest. This is part of renovating a very old abandoned cabin and bringing it back to life. Nothing is plumb, nothing is square, and it needs to be perfect. But my friends are here, and I'd rather hang out with them. Because I've put them to work all day and we got one piece off. <laughs> and nothing done. I never get to see all these people, so. We tried our best, you guys. Yeah. Close up shop. <laughs>
Bravo! Too much. Yeah, the garlic's not roasted. Do you guys eat this like all the time? Um, as often as we want pizza. Like once a month, maybe. It's the pizza party! Hey! hey. hey. That was so good! I didn't even know they were gonna do that. <laughs> You didn't drop it. I did a lot of spins. Two spins. Are you best buds? They are. They're very similar. <laughs> Anybody want to go herb hopping? It's so nice. I can't wait to build ours. I just love it in here. How would you feel if we like stopped working on the house and just started building a greenhouse? How would you guys feel about that? Hmm? Hey? It's pretty Speech nice. time, boys. Let's go. Who you share it with? Thank you. There we go. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't drop it, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling the pressure. <laughs> So good. So good. We would call them pie. So good. So good. Okay, so what are all the different flavors? Like, what's the zaz? Deliciousness. We've got a chicken one. Chicken pie. Chicken pie. We don't call them pies. What do you call them? Just pizzas. Oh, so. Goodness. Let's eat. I'm ready. Smile. Oh, photo. Squish. What's this one? I don't know. Wait, you're gonna get it. Yeah, that was good. That one has the peaches. That one has the peaches.